Howdy, welcome to BanjoBenClark.com. This is your home for all things instructional when it comes to guitar, banjo, and mandolin on the internet. Today I'm really excited. We're gonna take one of my all-time favorite singing bluegrass standards and we're gonna break it down for you. That song is Nine Pound Hammer. And what I'm gonna do is give you a more of a beginner chord-based uh, lead to this and then we're gonna dive in and do a, a really advanced uh, melodic version that I know you're gonna love. But more importantly than that, we're not bound by the time restrictions of YouTube. Here at BanjoBenClark.com, we can go for as long as we want to go and as long as we need to go to, to teach you everything. So not only are we going to learn the arrangements, I'm going to take the melody of this song and show you how to transfer it to this guitar, or to your guitar, but to my McPherson. We're going to do that today. So join me. I'm glad you're here. Let's, uh, let's get right into it. <laughs> Those were the two versions of Nine Pound Hammer. I kicked it off with the more basic uh, chord based version and then uh, attempted to sing the song and then I played the more advanced uh, version. And uh, so we're going to dive into that. But first what I want to do is cover something that's extremely important. This may be the most important thing you've learned, you're going to learn all day, all year. And that's just to tune your guitar. Now I'm, I'm not going to go through each step. Uh, of, of how to tune your guitar. I think I'm going to make a whole other video just on tuning your guitar. It's so important to me. But, uh, but I do just want to get you to check your tuning with my strings. I'm going to pull off the capo down to uh, just open strings here. And I'm just going to play through them real slowly and um, just match up your guitar with mine. Here's the low E string. And the A string. string. Now don't forget the good thing about these videos is you can pause, rewind, everything. So if I'm going a little too fast on any part, you can just go back and check it out. G string. B string. And then your E string. So that your G chord sounds nice and full and in tune. Okay, then what we're going to do is put our capo on the second fret because we're playing out of the key of A today, but we're playing out of G position. So if we're playing in G position but we want to go to A, then we need to put our capo two frets up. Okay, so we're going to go to the second fret and we're going to put our capo, this is a Shub style clamp capo. I use all kinds of different capos, but uh, with all your capos, it's very important to put it as close to that fret wire as you can get. A lot of guys put them right on top. I don't. I put it right behind it. Um, I see a lot of people putting the capo right in the middle of the fret there. Um, and you don't want to do that. It's going to cause some tuning issues. You want to get that capo right behind that fret wire. Make sure it's nice and tight, but not too tight. Or it'll squeeze your strings and make them, make them sharp. But uh, to me, tuning is a very important thing. Um, it's one of my pet peeves. You go to jam circles, you hear people that are out of tune, and uh, they're outcasts. And uh, people start talking bad about you and behind your back and call you names. And, and it hurts. <laughs> All right. Enough of that, let's dive into these versions. Let's we'll start out with this beginner version. I say it's beginner, it's really not beginner, it's basic, okay? This, this isn't extremely easy to play, uh, but what it is, is it's straight ahead. We're gonna grab the melody, I'm, I'm almost using it more as a teaching exercise than actual uh, playing exercise. Real slow here, I'm going to put the, uh, my left hand 
up on the screen here and uh, that way you can play through with me from the very beginning. Here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> stress right quick is pick direction. Pick direction is very important to get it clean, to get it rhythmically sound, and to get it strong, to get the accents where the accents are supposed to be. You need to have the right pick direction. If you buy the tab that accompanies this video, all the pick directions are in there. It's a pain to do that, believe me, but it's so important. I want every single note to have a pick direction. And also, in the more tricky parts of the song, um, I give you fingerings as well, okay? So let's start out with the advanced version of, uh, of Nine Pound Hammer. Now we start out with just this little G lick and uh, then we, we go on from there. bluegrass we have that extra bluegrass measure after you start singing and before you go into the the break that's all we're doing here is just kind of a lead in and one of my favorite things to do is find inventive uh, unique ways to get into the melody um, and so I've done that here and then that's your first melody notes right there at the end nine pound hammer Watch the timing on that. I throw a quarter note in there in the midst of all the eighth notes. Quarter note right there. But can I bend this one up uh, far enough to make it sound like it's actually the third fret? Hear how I'm doing that? Almost there. It's really tough, especially if you're using medium gauge strings, which is what I like to use. So what I've done is enlisted the help of my first finger. But goes like this slowly. Okay, and that takes us to that C chord. Now, I'm going to walk you through this last lick. This is definitely the hardest lick in the whole song. 